you see a cow on a dairy farm, there's almost always something you don't see. Horns. When cows are born, they typically have tissue on their heads that will eventually develop into horns. But the majority of calves used in U.S. dairy operations have their horns burned or gouged out of their heads, which is why you don't see them. Workers use various methods to dehorn cows, including burning the tissue away with a hot iron. Sometimes the searing heat also damages the underlying bone. On some farms, workers use caustic chemicals, which eat away at the tissue as well as anything else they come into contact with, including the animal's flesh or even their eyes. Knives, shears, and other tools are also used to cut horn tissue off calves' heads. By the time calves are about two months old, their growing horns have begun to take root in their skulls, making the dehorning procedure even more painful, bloody, and dangerous. On older animals, workers often use a sharp metal scoop that they press into the calf's head to gouge out the horn and the surrounding tissue. Workers may also saw off horns with a handsaw or a sharp wire or use a guillotine dehorner which cuts through the base of the horn as well as the surrounding flesh. Cows and calves struggle mightily during dehorning, thrashing, tossing their heads, rearing up, switching their tails, bellowing, and struggling to the point of tripping and falling down, all signs of severe pain and distress. Older animals are harder to restrain as they fight back out of fear and pain, so there's an increased risk of trauma, blood loss, and infection. All of these procedures are routinely performed without giving the animals any painkillers whatsoever. Please help stop this inhumane practice by avoiding cow's milk, cheese, and other dairy products, and instead choosing from the many cruelty-free non-dairy milks, yogurts, cheeses, and ice creams in your grocery stores. Please refuse to support such suffering by going vegan today.